Korean Air's Wilshire Grand redevelopment is one of the world's most talked about construction projects. When finished, this 1,100 feet tall, 73-story skyscraper will tower over downtown Los Angeles, earning bragging rights as the tallest building west of the Mississippi River. The Wilshire Grand will feature a 900-room hotel, restaurants, offices, and other nightlife attractions. This multi-use tower has been shattering records and setting industry standards since breaking ground in 2012, including setting the world record for largest volume of continuously poured concrete. Another unique feature of this structure is the use of large-scale buckling restrained brace frames. Due to its height and location in seismically active downtown Los Angeles, there are many unique aspects to the design of the Wilshire Grand. One of the most interesting design aspects is the buckling restrained brace frames, commonly referred to as BRBs. BRBs are structural brace elements that consist of a steel core plate surrounded by grout and enclosed in a steel tube. The BRBs are designed to allow the Wilshire Grand to withstand lateral loading induced by an earthquake. While BRBs have been used in California since 1999, the number and size of BRBs utilized at three distinct levels on the Wilshire Grand are truly unique. The lower BRBs span three stories from the 28th through the 30th floors with four individual BRBs stacked at each location. The middle BRBs span a single story each on the 53rd through the 58th floors and lastly, the upper BRB spanned three stories from the 70th through the 73rd floors. Twining's inspectors have performed shop inspection on the BRBs and associated structural steel members in several shops located in two different states and also performed the inspection of the field installation of the BRBs. Due to the size and length of the welds required to attach the gusset plates to the embed plates in the concrete core of the building, the structural steel contractor elected to use automated electroslag welding in the field a process typically utilized only in fabrication shops. As part of the approval to perform automated electroslag welding, Twining also performed the qualification testing for the weld procedure and welders that worked on day and night shifts, often for seven days a week. Twining also teamed with other project partners, including the structural steel contractor and the BRB manufacturer, to provide educational seminars for our staff and the industry as a whole prior to the work being performed.